Bennett was born uh, August 28th, 2013. Everything seemed really normal. At his two month checkup, uh, we found, the pediatrician found um, a heart murmur. She told us it wasn't a big deal, maybe come get it checked out. She recommended Nationwide Children's Hospital. And little did we know that pretty much our whole world would change whenever we got up here that day. Bennett has dextrocardia, meaning his heart points towards the right side of his body instead of the left side. His receiving chambers from the body and from the lungs connect to the opposite pumping chambers that they should, and those pumping chambers connect to the opposite arteries that they should. In some patient in the long-term period, right ventricle would be fading and cause heart failure. So it's a biggest concern in this disease. I was just heartbroken and devastated and I cried. We got him help just in time, basically. We came here and he had a um, PA band put on and that was to get him ready for his big surgery that we'll be doing. So what they did with his initial surgery is they put a band of artificial tissue around the pulmonary artery. By doing that surgery and limiting the blood flow that can go to the lungs, we kind of put him more in a balanced state and so then he can use his calories for what all babies should, growing, developing, playing, all those things. We're here today just for a checkup, actually, and that uh, he'll be able to do the double switch. Rips himself for you. It's gonna be cool. A double switch combines two surgeries. So right now, his blue blood from his body comes back to the right atrium and goes to the left ventricle and then goes out the pulmonary artery. And the red blood from the lungs comes back to the left atrium and goes to the right ventricle and then goes out the aorta. First, we need to close the hole between the pumping chambers. Then, we'll take the blue venous blood from the body and the red venous blood from the lungs and route them to opposite pumping chambers. That only fixes half the problem, though. We have to take the major arteries that come off the heart and we have to switch those, too. That's why we call it a double switch. After the double switch operation, his circulation would be the close to normal heart circulation quality of life would be much, much better. Yeah, essentially a heart transplant is what they're doing with his heart, just going to use his own heart, fix it, and hook it up the right way. Certainly we know that doing a double switch in the really young babies is difficult. Right now he's a good candidate because he's growing well, he's getting bigger, there's more space in the chest when that happens. Probably less than 20 double switches are done in children's hospitals in the U.S. per year. But Dr. Shinoka has a lot of experience doing double switches. And I asked him, I said, if, if it was your kid, what would you do? And he recommended the double switch because yeah. it is possible for him to live a fairly normal life. If that's what the surgeon that's going to do it would have done, then that's what we're going to do. We're here today at Nationwide Children's Hospital for uh, Bennett's double switch operation. The double switch is going to get him fixed so he can be a normal kid. Oh. This is going to be the longest day of our lives. <laughs> uh, six to ten hour surgery. I don't want you to go through it either. <laughs> <laughs> we're really excited and really happy for it, but also we're not looking forward to it whatsoever. So we're getting close, Ben. Oh. Oh, yeah, I think we're good. Everybody's covered in. Everyone's really doing great. Okay. You need a rock and roll? <laughs> Good morning. Hi, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hi, he's smiling. Yeah, he's not in too bad of a mood this morning. Anatomy. He weighs 9.5 kilos. 
they tell us that he's doing great and uh, everything's going as it should. Well, I'm looking forward to just seeing him again. I cannot wait. I'm probably gonna cry tears of joy. I kind of want to see Dr. Snuka just as bad as yeah. I him because when yeah. I see Dr. Snuka, everything I know everything's him. okay. <laughs>
Ben had recovered amazingly well. Um, this is always, it's done so rarely, it's always a little bit of an unknown. I think he shocked all of us. He came out and really within 24, 48 hours was steps ahead of where we thought he would be. He's got the pump to his body that he should have. He's got the pump to his lungs that he should have. So I think he's in a far better situation by taking the risk and doing what we did. So here's your list of medications going home. He'll have the aspirin once a day. And we'll see him in a couple of weeks and make sure things are still going well and hopefully wean some medicines at that point. All right, and then I'll just have you sign the bottom of this one saying you guys are taking him home. For all he went through to still be all smiles and to still want to play and interact, you know, it's, it's amazing.